That is the claim. Actually, uh, not last Friday, the Friday before when, when I was filling in for Rush. Uh, we spoke to Rudy Giuliani and he, Mayor Giuliani brought up that there were huge, shocking issues with Dominion and Smartmatic. So it wasn't just Sidney Powell making this argument, though she was the only one making this argument at the press conference. So here is Sidney Powell's grand claim. One of its most characteristic features it's, is its ability to flip votes. It can set and run an algorithm that probably ran all over the country to take a certain percentage of votes from President Trump and flip them to President Biden, which we might never have uncovered had the votes for President Trump not been so overwhelming in so many of these states that it broke the algorithm that had been plugged into the system. And that's what caused them to have to shut down in the states they shut down in. So she's saying that, and we remember this on election night, for some reason the vote counting stopped just for, and, and then in some places it continued, even though it was continuing uh, behind closed doors I- I- illegally, not the way it was supposed to be done. Why did that happen? Sidney Powell said it's happening because people were electronically trying to steal the election and so many people voted for Trump, they had to go in and fix it somehow. Okay. We don't, we don't have evidence for it. We just have the circumstances that Sidney Powell's bringing up and we have her claims. And, and I should point out, Sidney Powell has had a real career. She was an assistant U.S. attorney, federal prosecutor. She was the lawyer for Mike Flynn. So this is not, you know, some lady sitting with tinfoil, a tinfoil hat on. Now, I don't know, maybe she's gone completely insane. That's an allegation against her. Maybe she is, maybe she hasn't. Maybe she's a very serious lawyer and she actually has the goods. We don't know. She has been going on news shows over the past weekend to give greater detail on some of her claims. This isn't a summary judgment motion where we actually have to produce any evidence now. Your typical lawsuit, you just file the statement of what the charges are without any affidavits or anything. But are you saying the, you're going to file the same? The way the, the media is going about this is absolutely ridiculous and unreasonable to expect us to put evidence in right now. Although we are, we know election issues are on an expedited schedule, but I could wait a month to file the fraud case and everybody would have to undo their certifications because it's so bad. But are you saying you're going to file the same case in multiple jurisdictions or in one jurisdiction? Each one is a little bit different depending on what happened in the state, the different manner and means and the evidentiary aspects that support each one. You know, we've got different affidavits from different witnesses in each of the states. So there are going to be some differences between them, but they're going to be claims that are are identical. Some of the legal claims are going to be identical. For example, in a, in a number of states, the there were modifications to the machine after the statutory cutoff date that should invalidate every vote cast on the machine. So she's sticking with her story and she's giving more examples that we haven't seen a ton of hard evidence just yet. Since these interviews, the Trump legal team it has distanced itself from Sidney Powell. They sent out a, a message last night, said Sidney Powell is practicing law on her own. She's not a member of the Trump legal team. She is also not a lawyer for the president in his personal capacity. That was a memo that came out from Rudy Giuliani and, Je- and Jenna Ellis, who are on the Trump legal team. Now, in the past, President Trump has described Sidney Powell as a member of the Trump legal team. I don't know that Sidney Powell has ever described herself as a member of the Trump legal team. I think she's described herself as a supporter of the president, but I haven't seen her do it. News shows have described her as a member of the Trump legal team. But again, I don't know that she has herself. Now, Powell, for her part, has responded to this statement. Powell, for some reason, was kicked off of Twitter when all of this came out. So she couldn't defend herself on Twitter. It's a little strange. And Powell responds and says, I understand today's press release. I will continue to represent we the people who had their votes for Trump and other Republicans stolen by massive fraud through Dominion and Smartmatic, and we will be filing suit soon. The chips will fall where they may, and we will defend the foundations of this great republic. Hashtag Kraken on steroids. <laughs> so, so Sidney Powell totally doubling down. And unless you think, by the way, that the, the Trump legal team is, is totally shocked by what Sidney Powell is saying, go back to the, the Rush Limbaugh show, not, not the, you know, three days ago, not this past Friday, but the Friday before that, when I was filling in Rudy Giuliani bringing up similar issues, maybe not with the same ferocity, maybe not with the same uh, grandiosity, but he is bringing up the same issues with Dominion and Smartmatic. 
I hope you enjoyed that short segment from The Michael Knowles Show. Be sure to check out the full episode linked in the description or download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. 